Hello, I'm Tana, your MLC tutor. Okay, I'm going to do another problem from my ASM study manual. This one deals with insurances for both the joint life status and the last survivor status. Um, and we're going to be using recursive formulas, so hopefully this will be a good review all around for you. Um, so they tell us that AXY bar, which is the actuarial present value of an insurance, a whole life insurance, payable at the end of the year of death of the last survivor between X and Y, whichever one dies last. <clears throat> That's 0.26 then our actuarial present value of a whole life insurance on an X year old payable at the end of the year of death is 0.3, a Y is 0.28, our discount rate is 5%, the probability that the X year old dies in this first year is 0.1, and QY, the probability that the Y year old dies in this first year is 0.02. And they would like to know if the probability of the x year old dying in the first year were increased to 0.2, what effect would that have on the actuarial present value of the insurance payable at the end of the year of death on this last survivor status? So if qx were increased to 0.2, what change does that have on this axy bar? So, it's a little bit difficult to go through this problem and explain how you know to approach it in this way. I think a lot of it just comes from practicing these problems over and over and over again. The first time I did this, I did not do it correctly. And even when I went back to it the second time, I really had to think and try to remember what I needed to do in this situation. I think one thing to recognize, I've seen this before where the survival probabilities are changing and they want to know what effect that has on an insurance. And a good way to deal with that, it seems, usually is to use recursive formulas. So, if something is changing about your survival probabilities, a good strategy is to start with your original insurance, then move forward to see what that same insurance in a year would be, or maybe two years or some point in the future. Then once you have that value, because that's not going to change, you move backwards using your new survival probabilities to get your new value of this insurance that you started with. So you go forwards and then backwards again. Um, I suppose they could also ask you a question having to do with like maybe expected lifetime. If your expected lifetime is this, how does it change if your survival probabilities change in this year or something like that? Anyway, so you want to use the recursive formula. Okay, so we want to find the change in the actuarial present value of this insurance on the last survivor status. The problem here is that I thought that you could maybe do a recursive formula on this last survivor status, and that maybe it would be um, if the last survivor status dies in the first year, you get a payment discounted back one year, or the last survivor status could survive one year, which really just means that at least one of them survived the last survivor didn't die. If that happened, then you would get a new 
insurance on the last survivor status, right, at X plus one, Y plus one, again, discounted back. Okay, I tried this, and it doesn't give me the correct answer. I'm a little bit fuzzy on why not, but I know for now that this doesn't work. This is bad. And I'm going to try to find out why, and I will post a video on that. But for now, we know that there is something else that we can do. We know that we know that the actual present value of this whole life insurance payable at the end of the year on, of death on X plus the actuarial present value of this end of the year of this whole life insurance payable at the end of the year on Y equals Okay, the same insurance on the last survivor status plus the joint status. Okay, that makes sense because this is the value of the insurance on when X dies. This is the value of the insurance that's paid when Y dies. Okay, one of these has to be X and the other one has to be Y. Maybe X dies first and this is AX. In that case, Y would die last and this would become AY or maybe it's the other way around. But either way, this is always AX plus AY. Since we know this is true, we can solve, we have these three, we can solve for your AXY, okay? And that is, let's see, 0.58 minus 0.26, so 0.32. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to use this recursive strategy on all the other pieces of this formula that would be affected by the change in Qx. Then when I get those new insurances, I'm going to plug them in to find the new insurance on the last survivor status. We know that this one will be affected by the change in Qx and this one will be affected by the change in Qx. Obviously, the insurance on Y, there will be no change there. So we're going to find these two new pieces and plug those back in with our insurance on Y to find our new insurance on the last survivor status.